So in this video, I want to talk about adverse effects of the non-targeted chemotherapeutic agents. And I want to split it up in the general adverse effects that you're going to see in any of the drugs that belong to the non-targeted chemotherapies. And then in the second part, we're going to talk about a couple of very specific side effects that only apply for certain non-targeted chemotherapies. So when you think about the mechanism of action of non-targeted chemotherapies, you will realize that we're going to hit fast dividing cells. So we're not specifically damaging cancer cells, any fast dividing cells. What are fast dividing cells in our body? Number one are GI cells. So therefore you would expect to get mucositis, itis for inflammation, so inflammation of your mucosa, you get diarrhea, also nausea, vomiting. Remember, whenever you're going to damage your mucosa, the enteric nervous system is going to pick that up. It's going to report it to the area post trauma where nausea and vomiting is controlled. Other fast dividing cells in our body are the bone marrow cells. So as a consequence, all the cells that arise in the bone marrow, leukocytes, thrombocytes, platelets, red blood cells are going to be low, are going to be damaged. And the consequence is leukopenia, for example. So you're going to have increased risk for infections. Then you get thrombocytopenia, so you have less platelets, therefore increased risk of bleeding. Then also anemia, because you are missing red blood cells. If you miss all of them, this is called pancytopenia, pen for everything. Another fast dividing cell in our body are hair follicles. And that's the reason why so many people under chemotherapy lose their hair during the treatment. That's called alopecia. So these side effects that we just discussed are true for most of the non-targeted chemotherapies because their common mechanism of action is just damaging fast dividing cells. And these are the fast dividing cells in our body, besides, of course, the cancer cell that we are going to hit as well. There are a couple of very specific adverse effects for specific non-targeted chemotherapies that everybody has to know, just because they come up all the time on your rotations and on the boards. So what are these? First, we have cisplatin. Cisplatin is a platinum drug that acts as a non-cell cycle-specific agent and is extensively cleared through the kidney. So it's very toxic within the kidney, therefore nephrotoxicity and also autotoxicity. The reason for the autotoxicity, which can range from a tinnitus to really complete hearing loss, is probably due to cisplatin's neurotoxicity and in this specific case, the damage to cranial nerve 8. The next drug is bleomycin. Bleomycin is a drug that can cause single-stranded and double-stranded DNA breaks through a very complicated mechanism involving oxidative damage and ferrous iron. It's very famous for causing pulmonary fibrosis. It turns out that the peptidase that inactivates bleomycin uh, is available in all our tissues. However, in the lung, it has very low activity, and that's why it's so toxic to the lung. The next drug on the list is doxorubicin, a DNA intercalator, so it's a planar molecule which just slips into the DNA, and once the DNA is replicated, it halts the replication fog and therefore also inhibits the S phase. Doxorubicin causes cardiomyopathy in a mechanism that probably involves a production of super radicals and therefore damage to the heart. We can already predict that the mechanism of action in which it causes the damage to the cardiac cells has nothing to do with its cytotoxic effect. We know that cardiac myocytes stop dividing during infancy. Therefore, they would not be affected by an agent that acts predominantly on fast proliferating cells. Then we have Arvinca alkaloids and taxins, so all the mitosis inhibitors, and they are all causing neurotoxicity, particular peripheral neuropathy, when you have this tingling in your fingers and in your feet. And this is also a predictable side effect, as we know that neurons need microtubules to transport, for example, neurotransmitter from the cell body to the nerve terminal. 
Then we have cyclophosphamide, which causes a very specific side effect, which is hemorrhagic cystitis. I is again for inflammation, cis for bladder. So it's going to be an inflammation of the bladder involving bleeding. The toxicity to the bladder is caused by a metabolite that is formed from cyclophosphamide. It's called acrolein. So how can you remember all the specific side effects of the different chemotherapeutic agent? So this picture might help you to remember it. So again, we're going to start with cisplatin, which is toxic to your kidney and is also autotoxic. Then we have the bleomycin, toxic to your lung. We have the doxorubicin, ruby for red, so that should remember you for the cardiomyopathy, damage to your heart. Then we have the winker alkaloids, the V for the arm and the legs, the peripheral neuropathy, the tingling in your fingers and feet. And then we have the cyclophosphamide, which is toxic to your bladder. So we have here the cycle and then the phosphamide. And this should remind you about the hemorrhagic cystitis that cyclophosphamide can cause. This concludes the video on the adverse effects of non-targeted chemotherapeutic agents.